so today's video is going to be an empties video. Just like the good old days. I know every time I do one of these I, I say, oh my god, I'm gonna make it a point to try to do these every month, and then I don't do them every month. So I'm gonna stop saying that. But just know that that is a goal. <laughs> By the way, it's so late at night, like so, so late. I have no natural light happening right now. It is pitch black outside. I am super, super tired. But we are gonna go through my beauty trash. These videos are also my slash products I hate and I'm throwing away kind of videos. And I will be leaving those products till the end of the video. So if you wanna see products that I'm getting rid of because I just don't like them, stay tuned till the end. But right now we're going through all of my empties. I've used these products up. Oh yeah, if you don't know what these videos are, you're probably really young and have no wrinkles. But if you don't know what these videos are, I basically accumulate all the products I've used up in this bag that I've had for like 10 years. I'm not kidding, it's disgusting. And I wait till I have a substantial amount of product and I give you guys a review on everything. Since I used it all up, that means I should know or not if it's worth repurchasing, you know? Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom past this. I went through a Flare Missing Person body wash. I'm almost done with the body lotion as well. I love Missing Person. It is one of my favorite scents. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions on Missing Person, but I love it. I love the way it smells. I love a good romantic musky scent. And the body wash is really nice. I love it. I would definitely purchase that because it was sent to me, but I would definitely buy one. I just have so many body washes right now. I currently don't need a new one, but I would definitely repurchase that. It is really good. I do like the formula. The Somebody Wood one is probably my favorite though. Oh my God, the Somebody Wood body wash from Fleur. <gasps> I'd repurchase that one before repurchasing Missing Person. Fíjate. Speaking of it, Missing Person. I went through a full bottle of Missing Person, please. Please excuse the cap. I break all of these caps. I swear because I, I take this in my purse everywhere. Instead of just buying a travel spray, I know, I, I know. I wish it was more beast mode, but it does last a decent amount of time. I, I just, I love it so much. I will repurchase forever. In fact, I already have. I went through two native deodorants. The coconut and vanilla scent is hands down my favorite. I find it to be the most refreshing on my armpits. It's the one that keeps me the freshest the longest. I don't know why, but I always, always recommend coconut and vanilla. It's the best. I love it. And this is the... Uh, um, plastic free packaging, which I love. It does kind of get a little dirty, but that's okay. And then I also went through cherry and vanilla macaron. This smells, oh my God. Bro, I swear the cherry and vanilla macaron scent makes my eyes roll to the back of my head. It is such a good scent, though the vanilla coconut one does keep me smelling fresher longer than this. This scent is just so good. I want the body wash so bad, but this was limited edition. I have a lot of skincare. Let's do that. Let's do that. It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser. This one was really good. It's gentle for all skin types. It has hyaluronic acid and ceramides, and it, I really, really liked it. I mean, I used it up. It didn't strip my skin, which is super important. I have very, 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 very dry skin, and not every face wash works for me. So this was pretty good. It's not like my holy grail number one, but it is pretty good. I honestly would just like always recommend Vanna Cream face wash. That's like my favorite face wash ever. And it's so affordable. Even though I'm really, really enjoying the prequel one I'm using, I like a simple. Okay, this is the best. I love this brand so much. I think this is my favorite skincare brand ever, First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Cream. It is my go-to face cream. I've talked about this like a million times on my channel. Whenever I have a really bad breakout, a lot of redness, irritation, especially like if a skincare product or a makeup product irritates my skin, oh my gosh, this is my go-to. It is the best to calm the skin and it's super hydrating. I love it. I also really loved this Sunday Riley Soul for acne treatment mask. I, it took me a long time to get through this because I was using it as like a spot treatment and it has 10% sulfur. I loved this, but they don't make it anymore. I don't know why. I don't know why they take away the good stuff, but they did recently replace it with like a skinny one. I also bought that one and I've been using that one instead. And honestly, I can't, I don't know what the difference is, but I think I like this one more. Maybe it's because I hate change. Oh my God, more skincare. Okay, um, the rice wash from Tatcha is beautiful. This is such a good face wash. So calming, smells so good. It feels like you're washing your face at a spa and it's great for like my sensitive skin, my dry skin. Truly beautiful. I really like it. That's expensive. But that's good. I used up this hair mask from Spoiled Child. It's there. It's really hard to read because it's like through the glass. <laughs> It's their Rapid Recovery Hair Mask, and I really, really liked this. This made my hair super soft, super yummy. Really, really loved it. Great hair mask. I have to say goodbye to my little friend here because I cannot use anymore. I've tried to sharpen it over and over again, and it's just not working. Like, no matter what sharpener I use, it just keeps breaking off now, and I, I just think I have to get rid of this because it's like crusty, dusty, and old, and it's just not working. This is the Primajo Ultra Lip Pencil in Done Undone. I've gone through like three of these. I've gone through like 47 contours, but I've gone through a few Done Undone as well. I'm obsessed with this. You already know this is the best li lip liner in the whole world. Bro, the Pat McGrath lip liners 
liners are the most long wearing lip liners in my collection and I have a lot of brands. Got a lot of lip liners. This is the best one. Just give contour a chance. The professional mascara from Makeup Forever was really, really good. You get a thin mascara on one side and a fat one on the other, and it's great for your top and bottom lashes. Super volumizing, super yummy. I personally prefer a tubing mascara. My ass is very lazy these days when it comes to removing mascara at the end of the night. So a tubing mascara is a way to go, but I did really like that. But would I run to buy it? No, because tubing mascara for the win. Okay, the rest of these are perfumes, and then we will get into products I hate. I went through another bottle of Byredo Mojave Ghost. I think this is my second bottle. There's still like a little thing in there, but I can't get it out. Oh, this is what Julie Andrews smells like in a Prince, Princess Diaries, like for sure. Like a fancy classy lady. I love the way that this smells and it lasts forever on my skin. Not every Byredo perfume lasts on me, but this one lasts forever and ever, and I love it so much. I have another bottle sitting in my cabinet right now that I have repurchased, so of course I would repurchase this time and time again. Actually, Okcha, if you're familiar with Okcha, they're like a really good perfume dupe company. They make a lot of versions of like your favorite high-end perfumes, and their version of Mojave Ghost is actually like pretty spot on, almost identical. It's called Desert Glass, and you guys need to check it out. If you love Mojave Ghost, please try Desert Glass and their x -Straits. So they last forever on the skin. Not sponsored, but they're good. So is Mojave Ghost. Guys, I love this. I love this and I would repurchase. I just have so many perfumes in my collection right now that I'm not gonna run out to buy this, but this is one of my favorite scents still. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. It's so nostalgic. Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. Uh, iconic, iconic. I also went through this cute ass little Lacoste perfume that I bought on Amazon like a couple years ago. This smells so good. This smells like a watery version of pink sugar. You know how pink sugar smells like literally like spun sugar? This is like sugar juice, like in the best way. It smells so yummy. I used to throw this in my purse all the time because it doesn't last on the skin, but it just smells so pretty. That's what it is. It's pretty. And then I went through two roller balls. This is Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is also like pink sugar's big sister. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy in the best freaking way. I love it. I highly recommend Boardwalk Delight. Oh, that's so good. It definitely makes the boys go. Oh, God. I went through the roller ball of I don't know what from DS and Durga, and I gotta say, I prefer the roller ball over the full size perfume because the roller ball is actually their perfume oil. This is their pocket perfume oil, and I don't know what. Honestly, if you are going to try out this perfume, do it in the pocket perfume because it's like oily and the consistency is better and I feel like it lasts longer. I don't know, I really, really love their pocket perfume and this is like my favorite musky scent of all time. This and Bianco Latte are my two number one perfumes ever, 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 ever. They're tied, they're tied for first. Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I really thought I had more than two things to share with you guys when it comes to products I don't like. <laughs> I'm telling you next month will be better, okay? We'll have a better roundup at the end. But what the hell is this? This is some T-Rex ass eyelash curler and I hate it. I've taken out 68 eyelashes, okay? It was a one and done. All I had to do was dry this one time and I threw it right in the bag. What is this? This is some shit that they put in your mouth at the dentist. I've literally seen this gadget to hold my mouth open. Oh, you're getting a cavity filled. And this, oh my god, this is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Setter. Shake Me Long Lasting Setting Spray. I don't know if it's a long lasting setting spray because it turns me into Edward Cullen really fast, like a diamond sparkle all over your face, and hey, maybe you're into that, but I am not. I have glitter on my face. Like, what the hell? Like, full-on glitter. I do like a shimmer. You know, like, Catrice has one that's really, really nice, and it's a fine shimmer. I don't like that. Okay, that's it. Sorry, that was really anticlimactic, I know. But like I said, next month, I have to go to sleep. I have to go wash my face, take a shower, and then go to sleep. Guys, I started the Crescent City series. <gasps> On Audible though because oh my gosh if I would have physically read that book I'd be so lost. I'm so lost listening to it. I'm like what what huh? What, did, what where am I? It's crazy. But anyway that concludes this video <laughs> Yep, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much Wait comment below what videos you want to see from me next. Okay request stuff in the comments Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye